Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through game playing, guys. So I hope everyone uh, plays many games, right? In computers, you'll be playing chess. Like basically, I am talking about the multiplayer games. So one is the original human being, and on the other side, the computer plays. So these kind of game playing algorithms or the code or the tricks are done by using this game playing concept of AI. Fine? Like chess, Ludo. Ludo with the computer guys. Okay. So in that way. So game playing is an important domain of artificial intelligence. Yes. Games does not require much knowledge. The only knowledge we need to provide is the rules, legal moves and conditions of winning and losing. Okay. So if you take a small example of XOX. So basically what are the rules here guys? You can place anywhere. If it is empty. If it is already occupied you cannot place there. Right. So that's the first rule. And the first one to complete the diagonal or row or column will be the winner with the same symbol not that fine so the chances will be given one after the other player one player two player one player two in that way so these are the rules and legal moves legal moves you'll be finding in chess guys like uh, horse will be going in an l shape like that fine okay so these all belongs to multiplayer games games only so both players try to win the game so the one player will be you and the other will be the computer or the robo fine okay so the both of them try to make the best moves possible to each turn for each turn search techniques like bfs may not be efficient so bfs and all those things will take a bit long time right so that is the reason why they are not so better used in these kind of things okay so the most common searching technique we will be using is min max search guys so min max search is used and due to some disadvantages of min max we are using alpha beta pruning guys we'll be discussing that in the next lecture in this lecture we'll be going through this min max searching so the the three statuses which we will be taking for games is win, loss and draw. Okay. So min max procedure. So min max. So max means the minus infinity. Min means the least value. Max means maximum value. Min means minimum value. Plus infinity minus infinity. Okay. So here the questions or the problems will be given in this way guys. Okay. So he may give the max min, max min values or not. So here max and min are nothing but the players guys. Player one, player two, play, player one, player two, like that. Okay. So once we are going through the problem theory, you will be having a clear idea. Don't worry guys. So min max algorithm is a recursive or backtracking algorithm, which is used for decision making and game theory. So these algorithm is used in decision making and game theory. It provides an optimal move for each and every player, assuming that the opponent is playing optimal so we will be making the best moves guys to win the game okay so min max algorithm is mostly used for games such as a chess tic-tac-toe checkers various multiplayer games so please note that this is here i wrote guys here one player will be the max and the other player will be the min so min and max assume the names of the players guys guys this problem or this method is really simple guys please understand the concept it's really easy so both complete competes and tries to win. So min and max. So here min selects the minimized value and max selects the maximized value. So if you observe here, the names of the min max and all those things may be given or may not be given. So you'll be starting from bottom guys. So here initially you will be applying something like depth first search to reach till here. So from here you'll be starting the game. So initially remember that if he didn't give the things, Initially start with max and alternately write min, max, min, max, max, min, max, min like that. Fine. So we are here. So above that we are having the max layer. So we will be taking the maximum value. So the step one will be max of these to calculate four, max of these to calculate six, max of these two. Remember if both are negative, the least negative value minus three. So according to me, I'll be assuming like that guys, according to you, that's minus three only, right? So, okay. So from these two, which is maximum seven. So in the first step, you'll be calculating them. And you'll be taking those values to the above layer. So you'll be drawing an arrow in the downward direction. So 4 came here, 6 came here, minus 3 came here, 7 came here. Fine. So now from these values, you'll be taking the minimum values. So min of 4 and 6, min of minus 3 and 7. Here we'll be getting 4 and here we'll be getting 3. So the arrow will be here, arrow will be here. Okay. So let us draw it. Okay. So we have just drawn it. So you can write the step by step guys. So after that, we will be taking the maximum right so maximum of these two it is four nothing but four so the best path to follow to win the game is a to b b to d d to i so this is the best path to win the game guys so perfect order to win the game so that's nothing but a to b b to d d to i 
So this path, if you follow, you're gonna win the game. So this way, it is going to judge. So we are. This is a bit good, but we are having few disadvantages, guys. So if a game tree is a large, it will be really complex. So you'll be observing game trees will be really large for the games like chess. Sudoku will be a bit less when compared to chess. Chess will be having really a big tree, guys. If you draw or use this method, so like in chess. and each node is checked one after the other that will be a huge issue fine so if you ask me here so if once it is minus 3 and we want minimum value is there any need to go here guys and check 7 and these two values is there any need we can just neglect it right so this approach has come in alpha beta pruning guys so once we are going through alpha beta pruning you will be having a clear idea guys so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching